Hello, and welcome. I'm Xander, and here we are once again in Minecraft, modded Minecraft, of course. And the first thing I want to do while I get started on other things is take this raw rubber, which I got from cutting down the MFR rubber trees, uh, Mine Factory Reloaded. And this is the rubber saplings from that. I got exactly nine for a reason. But while we do that, we also need to make some other things. For example, this, which can be made with glass, even though it didn't really show it there. And this can hold a transfer at 8 RF per tick. Uh, that is, or 80 redstone flux per tick, which if my math is right, should be up to 8 Minecraft jewels, which should be more than we need. Uh, however, I want to make this. The steam dynamo. Oh, and that's actually pretty easy to make. So let's grab some copper. Of which we need 8, 11. We're also going to need a piece of silver. And I didn't look to see what was on the bottom. Another piece of redstone. Okay. So we'll take a piece of silver. Put redstone around it and get our transmission coil. Uh, we need two of these gears. So we'll take those. Throw some iron in the middle. Copper gear. Oh, yeah. And steam engine. Says it requires water. Uh, not sure what I'm going to do about that yet, but I'll do something about it. Now, once you have the rubber bar, you know, they're useful in some things, but that's not terribly helpful. We actually need to recook it. So while that's going on, let's go down here. I've got this path set up, although I'm going to need another one for the power. I mean, I suppose I could probably do this a different way, but... I have plans. Trust me on this one. I have plans. I'm not completely without a plan. And if possible, depending on how much time is left, I'd also like to explore another thing added by the new thermal expansion. But we'll get there when we get there. Okay, how do I... Uh, I don't like how long that's taking a break. I'm going to go get the wrench. Because the wrench, technically I should be able to... That is not the wrench. The wrench should technically be able to shift-click it away. And I hate stairs. I should really get something else. Actually, I will get something else here in a minute. Now if I place one of these here, place this... Oh, good. Uh, do I still need to wrench this like you used to? It does not appear as so. Now, if I'm right, these pipes should be able to handle transmission of power into MFR stuff. I haven't updated MFR, so this could potentially crash my game and I could have to update. But, I think what I'm going to do, is this done? Whoops. Should be... Oh, no, we're out of power. Which is something else I need to deal with. I need to get like a lever or something up there. I put the glass so I can check power easily. Now I just need to get a redstone signal down to that easier. Only need to let it run for a little while. Hopefully. Well, I know I, know I generate enough power to easily power that whole thing. But... Okay. Batteries are filling up. I need to come up with a better way to do this, and this should, in the end, help with that. But, as it currently stands, I don't really have a good way for that, technically. So, now that that is done, we take the raw plastic. We put it on top of... Oh, no. Has it changed on me? It's probably changed on me. Harvester. Start here. Oh, that's what I did wrong. Okay. Plastic. Ta-da! Now we put this on top of here. And this gives us three of these, which I only really need one at the moment. Uh, the harvester requires a gold axe. So let's throw one of those together. Like so. And it also... It probably required something that I hopefully already have on me. We'll see. Uh, no it doesn't. Or yes it does. No, 
I know what I'm saying, I just can't say what I'm apparently saying. And I'm going to assume that for the same reason as everything else of this not working, uh, things that have durability don't play nicely. That's the easiest way to say it. So, and that is how you make the planter with the flower pots and the piston and another machine block. So we get those, that's what I need to power. Uh, I'll take these off the bar for now. And those can stay off the bar, I'll worry about those later. Now, I need to get, let's get some coal. I forgot I moved the coal, whoops. With that said, I'll grab half a stack of coal and hope that'll work. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Turn this into the jungle wood, and we'll use that. So. I need to get water in here. So I suppose I need to fill up some buckets. I don't know how much water this needs or can hold. Okay, it can apparently hold two buckets worth. Or four buckets worth. And if I throw coal in there, it's apparently going to start up. And it does support regular steam. Cool. I can work with that. I can work with that. As far as I know, uh, dynamos, which are the engines of the new thermal expansion, do not work with... Uh, well, not do not animate currently. Which is a bit of a pity, but what are you going to do? Okay, so, you need to get the planter, and the planter will go right there. Now, I just realized there's a tiny flaw in my plan, which is that the harvester not only is going to need to be slightly elevated, but it also only ejects out of the back. Which is a slight disappointment but I'll deal with that later is this gaining pa oh glorious it is okay now the harvesters default range is 3 by 3 and the planters default range should also be 3 by 3 very good now the only downside that I currently have did I end up putting... I did end up putting coal in that. Uh, however, it seemed to fill up with steam. And it's also containing redstone flux itself. I'm assuming that whenever he changed the dynamos, uh, he set them up in a way where things like the magmatic engines, how they used to overheat and stuff, I'm hoping that's no longer an issue. Uh, however, I need to make something very important for this whole setup now, which is going to require an ender pearl. So, we need to make a node. More specifically, a transfer node, which apparently requires something I do not currently have on me. Right. I can fix this. Oops, what am I doing? I'm retarded. So, I do not have glass on me, because I'm stupid. Now, if I'm right, that should go like that, these should go like this, and we get those. Now, transfer nodes should be very useful. I'm probably going to want a chest. I will bring this chest down here. The transfer node will go up there, it will come down into here. I actually do not want that to connect. Is this still... Oh, good. It still works with it. I wasn't sure whenever the wrenches were changed if that was still going to work. But, thankfully, it does. Thermal expansion is very useful. And I'm assuming that it's probably spitting logs or saplings currently out of the back of the uh, harvester. Assuming one has grown by now, of course. And as you can tell, my entire potato farm has grown, but I actually want to upgrade my steam production because the steam turbine from factorization actually directly supports steam from railcraft. 
I don't even know why you're showing that you're connecting, but I don't want you to. Uh, what that means in the long term is that I can power my entire base off of purely steam. Okay, so... Is it cutting it down? It's trying to find somewhere to put oak saplings. Do not tell me you put those in the planter. I'm assuming that's what that's for. I can set that up so it will only accept that. Right? I hope. Get out of there. I don't even know why you exist. Because it's cutting down that tree because it's in the way. Fine. Take your oak saplings. Take your apples. Actually, stop putting those in there. Why are you doing that? You're being awkward. This technically... Can I just fill this with stupid stuff? Because the planter shouldn't actually be able to plant the planks, so it'll try and plant the saplings... And it should always try and work with what's in the first slot. And I just don't want anything else going in there at the moment. Uh, as for the sludge, it should just solve itself. What are you doing? Not having enough power. Because I only put two pieces of coal in the steam dynamo. So, if we give you 64 wood planks... Okay, now I'm just confused as to what's going on. But it was getting power. And like I said, I haven't updated Mine Factory Reloaded. Uh, so it's technically getting the conversion to Minecraft jewels. What are you doing now? You say you're running. Why are you doing... Oh. Maybe I did update it. Hmm. But as you can see, uh, Redstone Flux to Minecraft Jewels is a 10 to 1 conversion. What is going on here? Oh. Oh. I understand. Oh! Well, that potato screwed. I understand what's going on. Uh, what was it? Lead and tin? When I ended up processing the tin, this is what I ended up with. Oh, I have way too many of those now. Okay, let's try this with a different set of pipes. Because unfortunately, the pipes seem to be the biggest limiting factor at the moment. I like extra utilities, but the poor thing is failing me. Uh, we will wrench you outwards. I was messing with these. It just appears to not like the front of the fence. That's all I can say. Not fence. Furnace. Because you remember, I was trying to pull things out of the furnace with it. Oh, come on. I don't care about those either. Hopefully you stop being broken soon. It may not properly support item ducts. I'm not sure. I'll figure that out here very shortly. Connect. Now, these aren't the ones that you can see through, so I have no way of identifying whether or not these are functioning. Stop that. Although there is stuff in here, but that's not saying much. This is gaining power, which is... Whatever. Put that in there, put that in there, those. 
You know what? I actually just want these to go away. Stay away forever and ever. I should make a trash can. Technically, I can make a harvester to harvest the potato field when things are ready, but I'd still have to replant it, so it could be a pain. How are things going out here? Functioning? I don't have any bones to fertilize this. Look at those two mana beans that I don't care about. You know why I don't care about them? Because I have a whole tree. So, anyhow, with that said... These should be functioning as intended. Uh, stupid oak saplings, stay away. Alright, 11, 11, 1, I will... Shouldn't you be making your way... It's... Actually, you know what, this is thermal expansion, there's a good chance it's cutting the items in half as they flow through, which I guess as long as there's nine on the ground is fine. Uh, there's nine there and there's four in there. I don't know how well that's going to handle those. So I'm just going to leave it alone and I'll check back with it in eventually. If it doesn't work, I'll come up with a different solution. However, a majority of these things should work for my intended purpose. Such as the transfer pipes. I Getting the water bucket thing resolved, that's going to be a different story. What did these take again? Two lead glass and stuff. Let's make six of them? Yes, I've decided that I need more. So, 14, hopefully that's enough. Uh, I want to make a machine. Oh, I'm not typing. typing. Uh, there's a machine called the Cyclic Assembler from Thermal Expansion. How are these made? Pretty much the same way. Gold, gold, okay, chest. Got a chest. Gold. Uh, tin. Uh, put my iron away. Yeah, let's pull that back out. Uh, basically, if I'm right, which I'm probably going to have to make a schematic or whatever for this, but it should allow me to make water buckets without the use of a turtle, but instead at the cost of redstone flux. Uh, I need copper. Skirt, let's grab all the copper. Oh, I need to make one of these. That would help. No. Machine frame. Cyclic assembler. Uh, for the purposes of this situation, I'm going to place it over here. Hmm. Trying to figure out where I want to place this. I don't want to place it there. Or do I? Place it there. As you can see, it can hold water. Just getting. What is going on here? There we go. Uh, this is a crafting station. It's just made by taking a uh, workbench, putting in your inventory, like so. I made it because items stay in it. Uh, we'll move him out of the way. Unfortunately, my the, the what I want to do with these, which would be making this, requires lapis, which I used all of, and I haven't found any more. So I can't make that. So because if I would put it on top of here, it would basically make water for me. Uh, I do have an alternative solution. I think about it, but it's not going to be cheap because of the same mod okay glass bucket pneumatic servo which is glass and redstone and iron going to 
me another piece of gold. Okay. This. Okay. What am I missing? Tin. T okay, I'm missing some tin. Two more tin. Done. Uh, should I make some liquid pipes while I'm at it? Fluducks are made from copper and lead. I realized I already had some copper on me. Because the Oculus accumulator is useful. Very easy to make, and it doesn't require power. So I put that there. It's taking in water. Very good, very good. If I put this here, click that in. That'll just accept. I don't even care that I just turned that. It's gaining water. Very good. I unfortunately need a schematic, which requires... Guess what? Give you one guess. Lapis or blue dye, which comes from bluebells, which I don't know where those come from. I just assume... I'm going to assume they're from Natura, because they show up as a plant. There's multiple kinds of blue dye. That comes from bluebells. Because if you watch, there's blue. Blue. Am I missing something here? Oop. Yeah, I can't get a hold of one, and then the other one comes from bluebells. Uh, I really wish to continue this, which means I either need to find some bluebells, or I need to find some lapis. Either way, I suppose the easiest way to handle this, since I want to get this done before the end of... but. Basically, before we finish here, so I'm going to say end of episode, I am going to throw all the stuff in here. Uh, I ended up not using these gold nuggets because I was thinking about making the steam engine from forestry, but I have since changed my mind. You can tell my absolutely horrible organizational strategy. These bricks are part of something else. Uh, you know what? I've got all the stuff. So, I might as well make it. Fire charge. Furnace. Bricks. Bam. Solid fuel boiler. And while I'm at it, I might as well make the other thing. Do I? Oh, do I have a couple? Okay. Rolling machine. What am I missing? Iron. Of course. One, two, three, four. No. No, I have iron. Or did I not have iron? I've not made pistons. That's what I did wrong. I am an idiot. Like my zombie trophy? So, anyhow, I'm going to need power. Which means I shouldn't have put the leadstone conduits in here. How am I going to run this power out? Run it out through here, like so. Cross. I don't think I'm going to have enough to get the whole way over to this machine. Two, three, yeah. I'm going to need, what, one, two more crafts? Two more crafts for safety's sake. I forget if it was lead on the outside. Oh, right. Lead stone. It was expensive. Okay, so... Redstone 12 should do it. This is a very expensive way to go about things. Or maybe not quite so much. Because I just have... Whoops. I'll worry about that in a second. I have unprocessed silver ore in here, like, I have it into silver gravel, so it hasn't actually been processed yet, which is the whole point of this. But I need blue dyes in order to deal with it. And I'm not sure how the sorting stuff works, so that's going to be a whole different 
fun thing to play with. Because I need sorting pipes, which let me guess. Oh, uh, no, not sorting. Uh, filter. Filter pipes, which also require blue dye. So, now that we've got that complete pain to deal with, I'll be back with you shortly. Hooray! I found some bluebells, so I can finally do something. Okay, so, that said, paper, paper. I have some paper. Very good. Uh, I only need to know how to do one thing at the moment. Uh, what was the rest of the dyes I needed? One of those was black, I believe. I should have some black in one of these chests. Okay, ink sack. So I needed yellow, red, yellow, red, uh, filter. Filter pipe. Uh, red, yellow, white, slash bone meal, green, black, and blue. Uh, green. So wait, what am I missing then? Bone meal? I acquired some bones very kindly. I spent s roughly an hour. Yeah, that's probably an accurate number. Roughly an hour trying to find lapis. Couldn't find any. So then I ran around this biome a bit for probably five minutes and found two bluebells. So I'm not entirely amused about that. But what are you going to do? Okay, so I need a filter which requires four redstone. Uh, sticks and string. Sticks are easy. Bing. So, that said, the reason why I'm doing this is because when I pull the items out, I very specifically want them to go, speaking of which, do I, how many item ducts do I have? Because I should be able to use item ducts for a few things, but specifically for pulling things out, I want to use the nodes. Oh, that's not going to work. Uh, in case you're wondering what's going on here, I was hooking up the water, and I've just realized that doing so has created a situation that does not work. Oops. Nope, stop that. I'm gonna put all of these in here for now. Oh, I didn't make the filter pipe. I'm retarded. Filter pipe. Bing. Done. I made the filter. What does the filter need to support? Filter needs to support empty buckets. So. I'm going to need to lower pretty much that entire thing down, uh, which means I'm probably going to want to rotate this. I should be able to rotate it with the wrench. No. However, I should be able to replace it. No problem. Job done. Uh, those are all configured as outputs then, I guess? I don't even know if that's working. Well, it automatically outputs, and I'm pretty sure that mode is only needed for things that do not automatically output. Right. I know that there is water in it and not in this. Water has entered the system. I'm not sure if it's going to remain that way. I will figure it out shortly. But 
The important thing here is that I can still access the bottom of this. And I left my transfer node upstairs. Item filter. You wish to put empty buckets in the item filter. Now aside from this, I mean I have the second node so I'll probably use it. Uh, this construction, unfortunately, is going to need to move. Oh, well, that's a quick way down. There's still potatoes in there. So what seems to be the problem? Why has this stopped? I'm not sure why this is stopped. Oh, oh, that's not helping. Oh, it stopped because this is not on. Durr. Moron. Complete and total moron. Anyhow, now with that idiocy out of the way, if three of these I need to be able to insert into the top and the bottom or er, insert into the top and pull out of the bottom so I'm going to need at least one space off the ceiling and it can't be right next to that Oops. for a good reason and I don't want it to be quite in the way so I'll put that there take the transfer node and I want it on the bottom of this transfer node on the bottom then a filter pipe which as I said can't go there I'm an idiot uh, the transfer pipe should need to be about right here we however do not want it to hook to this inventory. I apparently cannot stop that. So I will put jungle wood into the blue slot. That technically shouldn't do anything. With that being the case. Put that there. Uh, I'm also going to not want anything to go back to the gray slot. So I'll put that there. Then everything else should go up like so this will connect here you will not connect you will not do what it is you're doing oh crap that's not gonna work now that will go in there uh, schematic blank. How do I make a schematic? Schematic. Water bucket? Equals... Can I not do this? How do I do this? I'm probably an idiot of some kind. Hmm. Bucket. Now, I know this was in somewhere else, but I... It was in the 1.52 of direwolf stuff on forgecraft but I never actually messed with it myself I'm doing something wrong oh, 
stop that. Hmm. I really need to figure this out. What am I doing wrong, exactly? Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll figure this out and tell you what I did wrong for next time because I really want to get this stuff processing. Uh, what I do know is that in the... You know, I could probably set it to just buckets without the item filter, but very specifically in the yellow slot, I want it to be an empty bucket. Everything else can go up and then item ducks can pull it out somehow back through here probably and I'll have to make more item ducks but that is a different problem for a different time these should technically work in this situation so I'm pretty sure it was just because of how I was pulling them out before and as for this machine I have no idea what's going on here I'm pretty sure I chopped out the light. And I can't remember what else it was that I wanted to use the transfer node for. Uh, something. Anyhow, I'm going to call this good for now. Uh, this was recorded just after the previous episode because I wanted to get some things done. But for now, I'm going to call this good, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.